Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Cold OS Enigma, which is based on Android 9.0 Pi for a Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, by starting with the launcher, you can see we get this pixel launcher, and also we have some settings here, which is other normal settings. So, you can see into home screen, we get all this home screen stuff the theme, the app labels, the app icon, sorry, the stuff. Then you can see into icon, we get notification dots icon to home screen icon pack icon shape and icon size and four shape mask to legacy icons then we get the app drawer stuff hiding apps and all and then gesture also we get the clear all from recent view gesture which is a really good now thing. let's move into settings and let's check what type of customization we see in this cold to us so you can see this is the status bar and you can see we get status bar items and network traffic and here you can see the icon and stuff also we get the Volte icon now I don't have any sim card in this device but Volte works fine so don't worry about that we have the quick setting stuff you can see all quick settings customization then the recent stuff recent style you can switch to Oreo then also we have the memory bar so you can see you can check the memory uh, but I don't know where it appears so yeah maybe it's not even working now then we have the recent style then we have this immersive recent into recent into buttons we only get the volume rockers and you can see into we have this audio panel customization which is now like used like in present in all of the other custom roms also then you can see navigation nav bar buttons navigation and into nav bar buttons we get the normal usb stuff and we don't get any extra gestures into notification you can see we get the normal charging light vibration and yeah vibration stuff also present we have lock screen preferences, charging info, then we have shortcuts and all and we have the temperature, lock screen, UI, face auto unlock and media cover art like if you want, like you can listen songs and then view the cover art in the power menu you can see we get a different tab for power menu and here we can see all the power menu stuff advanced restart you can enable here you can see if I press then here is the advanced restart menu and also into cold decorations you can see theming and all you can see quick settings header style uh, which is now like i don't know why no one uses it the black is looking good then status bar logo edge gestures is present here you can see edge gestures is not in navigation but it's present here then we have swipe to screenshot animations battery bar rounded corner things and signature spoofing alarm blocker wake lock blocker and suspend actions and into here you can see about team and you can see you can check out code to us like the information the developers and the maintenance info and then moving into system into about phone you can see we get this uh, like a little animation for code to us and here is all the info you can see android 9 the kernel genome kernel which is really great kernel the battery life is really awesome then also into system into uh, advanced here we get Xiaomi shit uh, oops and you can see we get some stuff from me rom so vibration strat you can control the display color using kcal and kernel profile and sweep to sleep so some options for also we mind. have the font manager so for that you will need to go into display and here you can see font for call to us and you can see we get like a lot of like fonts not that much but yeah a lot of there so yeah you can check and apply any one of your favorite now let's check the pubg performance and i do it always for all of the roms so yeah let's check for this rom too and yeah i played pubg like multiple times and yeah the performance was good so let me like directly show you and you can see the app is getting opened so let's wait for it so guys uh, jumping off the plane and responsiveness is good like in some ROM the responsiveness was like really bad and I wasn't even open to uh, like able to open parachute or even like jump and shoot so that was just shit so let's open to a place where there are like really less enemies my god like here yeah, I don't know So guys it plays good if you can see uh, clearly at facing like there is a like small amount of slutter here and there but yeah the performance is good you can like 
play it's not like at least you cannot play or like stuff and you can see if I'm shooting and running no such lag so yeah the PUBG performance is good and like if you guys are wondering like I just play it for like a minute or like less so that's it what I have to show you like if you want to get some more PUBG stuff then like I will sure do some live uh, like even Sundays maybe I'm planning to do it but yeah that's a different part so PUBG was like really good and I faced no lags I have already played so I just show you like some seconds like faced no lags also there is a small amount of flutter but you can easily play it in normal graphics so yeah like a thumbs up for PUBG so guys now let's do the Antutu test which is like uh, many people ask and every time I show you so yeah let's do it and it's undergoing so let's wait till it ends so guys here's the Antutu score 81868 and you can see the CPU scores 39867 the GPU scores 12772 and the UX scores 23512 and also the memory scores 5717 and it says you can see it if it had 21% uh, of users overall so yeah you can compare the scores and check whether the scores are good or not and guys lastly taking a look at the battery so you can see to settings going into battery and you can see it says more 2 days remaining, remaining 36% and last full charge 5 days because I don't use this device that much and you can see from 5 days from like from 100% charge it's like still 36% and 3 days left and also screen on time 6 search 22 with normal users like really normal users and there is no battery drain at all so like idle drain so that's really really awesome and guys that's it for the video if you guys have really liked this video press the like button also subscribe for more videos and if you guys haven't liked this video then you can just press the dislike button so feedback will be in the comment section and you can also like tell me what videos if you want it on the redmi 5 plus or any other device i have so yeah you can just email me and bye bye guys that's it i will see you guys in the next video with another device or this redmi 5 plus redmi note 5 bye bye